Welcome, we are going to launch Linux Mint. XFCE 19.1. It's already installed on VirtualBox on Arc Linux. Booting it up since we have some time left. And this is the option where I took the OEM. So for organizations, for uh, shops, you can sell a laptop, put an OEM version on it, and this is what you get then. You get this uh, English version and you choose your language. And then we continue. Choose your keyboard. So this is already an installation, just to be clear. Everything is installed already on the hard disk. And once you boot up, then you are actually the, the, the future user, not the company that's selling the laptop and you go through these steps. Login automatically, I'm not gonna do that, not for now, wanna see uh, how it looks. And this is not a real installation, not a complete installation, by the way, they are using Light Display Manager. People might recognize this from Arc Linux. Time zone, creating a user, USB storage, Configuring hardware, network, power management. Stopping all these things here. And there we go. What are the details? So these guys do not have a Pac-Man, but they have the sudo apt. And then do something, install, for instance. And there will be names that you recognize. So this is the look. Let's have a look on screen, high contrast. It's green, yeah, sure. No surprise there, nothing to click. And let's log in. This is the welcome. So many of these um, distros have a welcome application. I stopped using it because of the fact that, um, well, you cannot actually really theme it and make it nice. It's always basic with an icon, some faults, some uh, bolt, I want to say, and launch buttons and all that. Great. But this is Linux Mint. Do we have some info or something? System, configuration tools, network, login window, backup tools. Let's first get our Sardi. So Sardi and Surfen icons, you can install them on any of the Linux systems. That's not what I want. Sardi icons. Eric de Bois, no, bad link. SourceForge. Let's download it. I accept. Come on. Accept already. Files. I always go to the files to take, check out that I'm, this thing is actually the last from here because it's often that it's not following the correct um, version. It's going to download from Germany, which is a correct choice in my case. It's, it's close enough for me. But if, if it is not, you check out US and there is Japan, Brazil, France and choose another server. Extract here, double click, Control A, Control C, or Control X. So cut it away, Control H. There should be a dot icon folder, and if there is not, you just create dot icons. Double click, Control V. Close everything up. Well, not everything up, but there is also Surfen icons that I'm gonna test out. Same applies here. GitHub Eric Dubois. Good, that's the one. Clone, zip, download. Wait for it. Save. Do this automatically. Okay. It's here. It's there. It's almost extracted. Okay. 
and in here we'll have all the elements and now I can copy paste or cut it control X back to the dot icons control V and now we have 45 folders so a lot of choices these guys are 39 icon variations so lots of choices you go to your settings manager let's put appearance up here you can normally drag and drop it or just say add to favorites that's maybe better and then drag and drop it can i not drag and drop it sure i can and that one there so appearance this is mint y greenish let's take a mint blue or an aqua or a mint accent or red or any of these colors so lots of colors in mint so that's nice always good to be able to change a little bit let's take a mint x gray and there is even more like a darker gray and let's see if there's also a dark gray so this one if you're into dark themes so that's great that we have finally more choices so that's super and um, i can only recommend that you have more colors icons let's have a look for the mint icon so lots of icons in mint as well mint x dark so really good to see that users are getting more choices Control h is gone again so this is what we have but we can have also this and this and that um do we need to yeah we need to click so click and click click in here click in there so better put them together and now it's brown okay so let's go quickly over them also quick a nice one this one so lots of colors that can fit with any of the themes any of the wallpapers you have that's great let's click a few of them nice so super 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 news so the Saturday icons we are at the Saturday icons and we need to have a look if all the icons are now sardinized meaning they are should be all in a circle with a little bit of shadow in it a white center thing this is normal mind type editor and the run program everything looks okay and the easiest way to see that is go for instance to the Sardi flexible which is all blue and if something is sticking out and it's not blue then you know we need to create an icon for it so that's a fast way to check out if everything is okay also check in here everything is blue like I said that's an exception and um, that's okay now I was thinking how is this button still green up here this button is green but I chose mint white dark gray so I'm wondering if I need to set something up in case of the borders let's make one bigger already and the rest is okay settings okay fine how about borders can i say anything about the borders or the windows window manager so we need to tell him to use another border that's better and you can choose any color you see fit here let's quickly just do it like this all window possibilities which is awesome let's take dark orange okay so that's the window part fine so we're looking at this now and we have this here right mouse click this is a whisker menu any xfc has the whisker menu you can change the properties and say no i don't want this icon i want another icon it's never broken this always takes the time so that's a good tip for you to know it's not broken if you click it it's just loading up lots of lots of icons and that's of course taking some time 
So, ah yeah, the study icons are not there. The study icons are actually in the home. Control H in the icons, in the study, in the scalable, in the places, I think. We'll probably find some nice icon to start here. We can have any of these icons. They're abstract icons. They're also Linux Mint icons as well somewhere. I have a beautiful one somewhere. Oh, that's the one. Linux, this is one I like, Linux Mint icon. And we have this nice logo here. Um, mm -hmm. Shocker, shocker, fine. Small, I like it a little bit normal. That's not okay. Small is good. It's this one I'd like to have small. That's better. That's my way of for size, something like this. You can resize it any way you see fit. You can also say show this uh, application descriptions makes it a little bit smaller. So I can again make it a bit smaller. So at some point in time, you know what is what, and you don't need somebody to tell you that written box is music. So you know the applications, you can get rid of that. Show application tooltips is probably something you get rid of as well. And show category names if you don't want to see uh, the category names, you can do as well. So that's nice, but I think this is nicer. Oh, background opacity, I kind of like my opacity stuff. So this is um, opaque, but surely you don't see it. So um, blah, 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 arrange desktop, desktop settings. Let's get rid of this and choose maybe this one. That's a nice one. Let's like take take something light, this one, to show you that it's transparent. So you see now, indeed, transparency is on. Right mouse click, um, properties, and we made here the background opacity. Behavior, switch categories by hovering. I do like it, so it's also on always. So the hovering effect, nice. Position search entry next to the panel button. Okay, so down here. Position commands next to the search is something I like as well. So it's here. That's that. You can select this one as well. And then it's like this. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like that. So back on. And there are all the things you can include, the commands, just interesting to see. XF log four. And all of these guys are not used. Menu Libre is here as well. Mugshot is here as well. So Mugshot is using this little thing here. Then you have this icon and you choose select from stock and say, okay, I'm gonna go for a flower, flower power. And you'll get a nice icon up there. So that's Mugshot for you and Menu Libre is this thing up here. Edit the applications, you can edit your menu any way you see fit, just by clicking, changing stuff in here. You can change elements. Okay, this looks okay. Everything looks fine. There's this little thing down here that says, hey, update me, please. Okay, let's update you. Fine. Please set up system snaps. Okay, we can do so. Time shift. Is installed here as well and finish and uh, all that but not gonna do it but I'm gonna just update it install updates just a virtual box so we have here applications called mint update mint upgrade depending where you are in the version updating is just a regular daily update but upgrade is in the sense of Ubuntu because that's what it's based on is uh, a major change then you are actually switching also from uh, from from repository really if you're doing an upgrade so you can change your repositories there is a packages.linuxmint.com and you can choose your server for it and he's going to check out like in uh, reflector or uh, in mirrors in Arch Linux is going to check out which one is the fastest? You have to wait here. And um, you choose the fastest around. And here you see that we're actually working on Ubuntu. 
but there are different versions of Ubuntu and uh, they rely on a particular uh, repo then. Okay, updating everything now. And then there are also the PPAs or the, what was it again? Personal packaging something. So stuff like Spotify for instance are coming from those. And now we can install the updates. So there is the microcode as well. Everybody has probably a microcode and Linux, right? AMD version, there's the Intel version. So basically you just need one of those, but both are installed now. And Linux headers are here, but I believe let's take another window next to mine. And Arc Linux is on version 4.20.7 and they are 4.15.0 so okay it's uh, the way it is it's uh, every distro has its own way in handling the linux kernels that's okay as long as it works right it's all good so that's your update manager that's doing its stuff in the back and here we see a nice little green icon because of the sardi icons everything is now going to be installed and later on everything should be white I think and everything is then okay anything else um, I should be looking at let's take a look at the settings appearance that's and uh, this is really awesome so great that there are so many versions of the mint um, available this really means uh, well for users flexibility, freedom, etc. Going to go over to the Surfing Mint X Gray. So you see there's also a Mint version. By the way, there's also a Mint version here as well. So I was so in love with the Mint. Um, well, not in love. I mean, it was the first attempt for me to understand how do icons work. And I was working on Linux Mint. I've been working on Linux Mint for four years or more, I believe. So made a lot of tutorials on Eric Dubois. Uh, be about Linux Mint, working on Linux Mint, making scripts on Linux Mint, etc. So I was in love with the icon. I said, okay, let's incorporate it in Sardi, let's incorporate it in Surf, and let's see how it works. How does it work making icon themes in Linux? So this is Surfin, another completely different icon theme. It has uh, colorful icons, not circle, can be any color you like, anything you like, and it looks like this then okay so that was uh, close um, let's take a look at again at this guy so that's appearance desktop some elements menus backdrops salt color zoomed menus and icons we have the desktop settings aha this is new so we have now MetaCity, MetaCity Compositing, MetaCity Compton. This is the normal thing without um, transparency and all that. So Compositing. And here's Compton and even Compis. Let's try that out. What Compis does. Okay, so we now we have Compis and we do have Wobbly Windows. Isn't that awesome? So great show, guys. This is an, a nice feature to have. Um, Okay, so all these guys uh, work and the only thing we should control T probably and see, oh yeah, it is already transparent, you see? So the transparency is working if we say no transparency anymore. So this is killed, transparency is dead. Compositing again, so this is the probably XFCE compositing and this is then relying on Compton. My technical question comes in my mind where is the Compton configuration? Where is that? So let's have a look. Compton, Compton, Compton. Then in here, here is Compis. Here is Compis. So Compis configuration. Here's the config. Profile is mint. So there must be a profile somewhere in the installation, but not here. Menus. Not seeing the Compton at this point in time. So that must be somewhere as well maybe in local who knows share flat pack mm, no really so 
interesting Linux Mint is uh, has is, is improved this is beautiful let's go for compass and have this wobbly things whoa right I'm not sure if they oh here it is configure compass yep they have it installed the CCSM same in Arch Linux and Arch Linux show this warning next time well, whatever okay so the wobbly things are set in here expo desktop we could have a try control alt down control alt down so this is uh, that kind of look and this is left and right control alt left and right and control up is not working and down i wonder if we can have a cube look let's go to my settings where is my cube so this can be done on any system as long as you install Compass, right? It's you need to have uh, that installed. Um, desktop cube is Control Alt Down. Mm -hmm. That should be this, but it's not the cube that I was expecting. To do to do back. Desktop wall, rotate cube, fade to desktop, right mouse click. Panel. How many do I have? I seem I seem to have four, right? One, two, three, four. So with four desktops, you can make a cube. So why I'm not seeing an actual cube? Inside cube, appearance, top button, down, well, transparent. No, I'm not sure how to get the actual cube and not the expo. This might be it. No, not really. Wasn't it? That's it. I <laughs> got it. So it was the mouse. Control, Alt, and then the mouse. Left mouse click. And then you see this cube like thing. And we go back to it. In this is virtual box, so don't blame Linux Mint for it. Uh, this is what I want. Whew. So Compass is installed. We can install it um, on any Linux system, really. But it's here. It's just ready for you to click on it, and it's there. So that's super compliments. File Manager is our Nemo stuff, which is not really new no sorry tuner stuff of course I was thinking about cinnamon that's Nemo all right oops sorry I wanted to check more than that yeah yep <laughs> he's trying to make it wobbly on my virtual box and something is keeping him to make it big as in super now now it's filled okay so panels is normal i guess nothing special about the panel i think preferred applications and then window manager we've been looking at the window manager i thought he's loading it up he's trying to load it up anyway maybe he's uh, updating it that's the reason why it's not loading. Workspaces, we have one workspace. Huh? I thought we had four workspaces. Okay. And then the Bluetooth display, which is all normal. Virtual box, okay, close keyboard. Stuff, layout keyboard, Belgian. And all these keyboard shortcuts control escape except desktop control escape all right that's that control delete is going to lock everything control alt and control t so not that many keyboard shortcuts but the essentials okay accessible driver manager this is something arch linux arch linux we should all work on that's a driver manager. I believe that's uh, one of the things that is keeping Linux a little bit behind. 
what if we would have a system that really could scan your hardware and say you need this that and that go press a button and everything is work works out of the box that would be nice if we would ever ever have this input methods languages login window minor session startup software manager sources update manager and the settings editor that's this one okay so i've seen it all my system is up to date and um I do love the way that uh, it has improved. So Linux Mint users, be proud. This is a beautiful system. It's working wonderfully out of the box and uh, enjoy it. So the Sardi and the Surfing icons have been checked. Linux Mint there, I believe there is some, some button where I can show you, where I can show you what version this is or what um, about me no i don't think so welcome screen maybe maybe a version in there so 19.1 xfc 64 bits i wonder if um, screen calls a screen fetch or anything of the likes like neo fetch if that's installed Neo fetch is not installed. So LSB release, probably an underscore, minus give me everything, minus all, gives us some information, but not that much. I wonder if we just can do a sudo pacman. Oh, my mistake. I have to install Neo fetch. Yep, he knows what it is. Nice. You fetch. Ta -da! There you go. Now we never have all the information you need and to see what I was working on. My Windows Manager is Compass now. Mint Y, Mint Y Dark Gray, etc. 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 And uh, well, let's, let's call it a day. This is Linux Mint. Guys, use it. It's beautiful distro. Everything is working out of the box, I hope for you. It all depends on the hardware. That's always an issue, but there is a hardware manager here. This, if you start typing hardware, not here, but if you start typing hardware, you'll probably get it. Oops, driver, let's do that, driver manager. So that's the guy that is, might be, will be, hopefully will find every driver you're gonna need for your system to make it work. All right, Linux Mint, Sardi and Surfen have been proved, proven well, that they can work and that they are all accounted for and any every icon that's on here is um, changed to the proper icon for Sardi and Surfing. All right, enjoy your system, guys.